Simon, we've got a rather tasty looking Negata machine here. Tell us what the model is. This is a HN63E 5 axis. Okay, it's also a pallet machine, isn't it? It's got a, a two, two pallets. Twin pallet, box guideway construction, big heavy duty ballsy machine. When you get involved in, in promoting and selling these types of machines, what do you focus on telling the customer? We focus on that, uh, the component, the rigidity or the, the, the complexity of the material, the toughness of the material. This isn't a, a, a fly around aluminium type of machine. This is something that wants to take a fight to steels and titaniums and harder materials. So how do they build the machine in order to be able to do what you're suggesting? Is there any characteristics on this that really stand out? There's several. The, the key features of most, let's say, horizontal machines to have a narrow fixed width column. Um, Negata take the approach that that column dictates the pitch of the box guideways on the, on the, the base beneath. So Negata flare the columns out and therefore get a wider pitch between the, the guideways and therefore increase rigidity. Typically around 25-30% more rigid than a standard parallel column. So it's like a Y-shaped column, yeah? It's effectively, yes. And then I suppose you're spreading the load across a, a bigger area. Yeah, you spread the load over, over a wider pitch. And not only do you do that on the, on the column and the Y-axis, on the Z-axis, sorry, you also do it on the X-axis as well. And you go wider pitch to give it a more rigid, wider stance. When you start uh, introducing those factors into a machine, does it slow it down or is this machine not about speed? It doesn't so much slow it down because it, this machine isn't really about the speed. This is about the rigidity and ability to use the power in the spindle to take the heavy, heavy metal removal rate, high volume cuts, um, and use the power that we've, that we've got in the machine. What about the stability of the table itself? Is that, is that just driven one side and supported the other, or is it a, a double drive? In the terms of the five-axis trunnion, we use two motors synchronised, one on either side. So again, it isn't the fastest five-axis uh, action, but it is the strongest, most rigid thing that we can come across. So with that being the case, do you know what sort of weight you could actually get on a table like this? A thousand kilos. A thousand kilos, really? Yes, a thousand kilos. Okay, so what markets would you be aiming a machine like this at in the UK? Um, aerospace titanium is first and foremost in anybody's mind and then anything that's into heavy steels like construction equipment and, and forklifts and cast iron type applications. And I imagine this isn't the sort of machine that you uh, would sell just as it, out of the box, is it? You, you know, you're going to specify it, turnkey it, is that what you would do at Matsura? Yeah, that's it. The, what's the, the, the way that we work is that different materials, different applications di require subtle differences on the machine. So the stock machine, yes, that comes from Negata, but then when you get into the SWAR systems, the probes, the software, the ballast chips and so on like that, we tailor all those around the customer's requirements and in some cases around the materials that the customer is working with. The, the, the pallet loading side on this, is there any options on that or what we see here is the standard? Well, there isn't, there isn't one at the minute because basically we have to get the operator up in the air slightly so he's at working height with the, pa the pallet or we sink the machine slightly into the ground, either or. But that access for the operator around the machine is governed entirely by customer requirements. We will make to whatever size and shape these, the customer requires. And when you go into a, an account trying to sell one of these machines and the application's right, do you win it more often than not, the order? I don't, this sounds maybe a little bit smug, but I don't lose orders for things like this. When we find somebody has the right application for this machine, and that's the key, find the right application, these machines are successful.